So my name's, uh, or we'll give her, give her just a second. Here we go. My name is Take the Lens Cap Off. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Take the Lens Cap Off. You're right. Um, I also go by Cole. And, uh, you know, I'm someone who cares about animals, and I like to do interviews out here in Little Rock mm -hmm. to, uh, to just kind of see what people's perceptions are of certain uh, animal agriculture practices. Yeah. Um, what, what's your name? John. John. Nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, um, John, do you know what a, uh, what a vegan is and what veganism is? I am 100% aware of that. Okay. What, what's a vegan in your, your own words? Uh, depends on how strict they are. A strict vegan um, doesn't want to do anything that harms any animals in any sort of way. Right, right. So do you think that the, the idea of non-harm towards animals is a good principle to follow in life, or do you think that's a bad principle to follow? I think it's a life choice that anybody can make to or not to do. To, uh, to harm animals or not. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Do you think all um, choices are moral? I think most choices we make in life are not moral. Right, right. Would you say that consuming animals is one of those choices that's not moral? If that's no, not moral? at all. I'm okay. completely for the consumption of animal products. Okay, okay, yeah. cool, cool. Can you explain, like, why that is? They taste really good. Right, yeah. right. Well, John, I, I ate animals for 24 years. Like, I, I love the way that got bacon... 30 years on you. 30 years. <laughs> well, so I actually kill and process and cook my, the animals that I cook. Probably 90% of the meat that, right. I, that, I, that I eat... I actually kill the animal myself. Okay. And process skin, yeah. gut. Well, let's let's go back to the taste sausage. part yeah. again. Um, from from what I understood, you were saying that you think it's moral to kill animals because they taste good, right? No, I didn't say that at all. I said they taste good, and that's why I eat them. The oh, okay, cool. It's completely separate. Yeah. So you don't think that it's it's ethical to kill animals that don't want to die. I mean, nothing wants to die. I mean, like the peaches, I mean, they, they've proven that, that even plants, when you harvest plants, they scream and, and cry themselves. So if you're a vegan, you're still killing a life form that is that mourns over the other life forms that you eat. Well, John, I, I would say that I've reviewed the science on that. 95% of plant biologists say that plants can't feel pain and right. that they're not sentient. Well, most scientists said the mask worked too, but we know they didn't. I don't know about that. That that's a different topic in and of itself. So but, what I'm saying is, is science. There's there's nothing actually proven in science. It's all conjecture. I mean, we can say something, but nothing's really proven. That's why we have the scientific method. Well, I mean, know, that's why the Earth isn't flat anymore. That's why, you know, um, bugs don't grow from from rotten meat. But, but you'd say a, a consensus of scientists today would agree that the world isn't flat, correct? Right. Going back to the point about plants feeling pain. Right. Um, I eat them too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I eat a lot of plants, obviously. Too too many sometimes. But um, are you aware that in the U.S., according to the USDA, that 77% of corn is fed to farmed animals and 40% uh, of uh, corn, whereas humans only consume 10%? Are you aware of that? Right, I don't eat farmed animals. I kill what I eat. So you I don't know. go to like restaurants or grocery stores? No. But oh, you do sometimes, right? Occasionally. Yeah. So if you do think... So you're against corn? I'm not against corn. Okay. But what I was going to say, if, if you do think that plants feel pain, right? Right. It takes more plants to feed animals in the U.S. for right. them to get as big as they do. Well, you also as it, it Than it does for vegans to... Uh, consume plants and survive and be healthy. Well, not really, because in the, in when they're harvesting plants, every single animal dies in the pro, in the harvesting of that. Every vole, every squirrel, every rabbit. I've, I've heard this talking bug, point from like Ted Nugent well, and uh, true. what it's what's like that show? Every, Parks and Recreation. Every animal dies. When they, well, John, when they your, your, I mean, would plants, every single one? Would you? Millions of bugs die so you can eat your your. Tofu. Sure, sure. I'm not denying that. Um, so I, I actually do, I, I do have a study on my TikTok from uh, the Journal of Environmental Ethics, right. 
and so it's okay uh, to kill a bug but not a cow. Um, I would definitely say a cow is a higher life form. But back back to the point, um, would you agree that animals eat those same crops or eat crops you to get as big as they do? I mean, you ate crops to get as big as you did, right? <laughs> so, so the problem is that it's that the we all eat and consume other things. No, I wouldn't say that. The you the issue eat, you don't eat things that consume other things. Well, the issue is the feed conversion inefficiencies because you have these animals, right? And they eat so many crops and they only turn a tiny amount of it back into edible calories and protein. So there are very reputable studies done showing that if the world were to adopt a plant-based diet, we could feed hundreds of millions more people. But we wouldn't be happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy and healthy. I don't eat animals. I mean, I'm a little, I'm a little big. I'll, I'll give right. you that. Yeah. But that's because I could be big eating well, animal products. Big and you get, you have to take all sorts of supplements. I mean, you, you and every, everything, every supplement that you have to take from being yeah. a vegan, I get from the deer and the fish and the. Would you agree that there are crop meat. deaths also involved in when someone purchases like a burger or crop something deaths. like that? What do you mean crop deaths? Uh, the deaths like you mentioned, like the voles and the the insects and things like that. Yeah, the, you, sa the same things die for the cows to eat that die for you to eat. Right, but it's more with cows. Why? Because cows only turn a small amount of the, so okay the grasses that they're the fed into the, calories. So it's okay that less animals die for you than die for the cows? Um, yeah, pretty much. Like that's, it's utilitarian to be vegan. And also Not there's, really. I mean, you're this, like the, like for me, when I eat a deer and I actually had deer meat this morning that I killed and I processed and when that deer died, one animal died. When you eat tofu, every single animal in that field died for you to eat that tofu. So when I do it, one animal dies. When you do it, millions of animals die. Do you think there's enough deer to feed everybody in America? Not everybody hunts. Yeah, because what I've read is that if everybody tried to eat deer, if everybody ate deer for just like one day, the whole deer population would be wiped out by noon. Then it's great that we farm cows. Why is that great? Cows are. Everybody else can eat. Yeah. Well, let me let me ask you this. And um, do you have any like dogs or pets? Yes. Like that? Yes. Dogs. dogs. Well, what are the animals that you kill? What do you mean? What animals? Do you kill? Uh, depends on who I'm going to hunt. Deer, turkey, uh, fish. So fish mostly in the ocean. Red snapper. Why do you think it's okay to kill one animal? So if I was starting, I might eat a dog too. Right. But right now, you don't have to eat animals to survive. Yeah. Well, if it's not necessary, and it's not, I mean, it's, it's not for a survival. Yeah. I mean, do you prefer a dog? What do you eat? Well, I get food. I eat a lot of white meat. I eat a lot of white meat. I eat a lot of white meat. Well, 
but you know the reason I prefer those is because I don't want to cause unnecessary harm. But you're killing millions of animals. More more animals or animals are killed for uh, you know baseline because animals. Well, I I think I've clearly stated that the plan is that I mean me and my son killed I don't know how many deer this year killed a lot. Then uh, so say we killed six deer this year. Six animals died for our diet for millions died here. But you only eat six deer a year, and you don't eat another year. That's not the right day. We fish a lot. Yeah, at our house, generally wild game food and eggs. Would you like to see a short video about egg production? You know, I mean, I've, I've, I've had chickens. I know about birds. Have you ever seen a hatchery? Like hatchery? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maceration. Oh yeah. So, so what happens? What happens to the chicks? Like in the hatcheries? The blood kind of thing. Uh, well, they're probably good. Yeah. What if the chicken doesn't bother you? Wouldn't it be better if we could, like, prevent those animals from being gone? Oh, I don't care. They'd probably do it. Yeah, you know, what if they were dogs? I mean, it's not my dog. And like I said, I need the dog. I need the dog. Yeah, I mean, I, I might eat a dog in a survival situation as well. I mean, I don't even... I wouldn't eat my dog. I'd do it basically. Yeah. But yeah. you wouldn't do that unless it was a matter of survival. I mean, somebody else would talk. <laughs> well, it's kind of crazy. I mean, I think they did not need a cat. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've eaten a lot of different wild games. I've eaten possums and squirrels and frogs and beaver. Beaver's nice. It's beefy. Uh, possum wasn't too good. Squirrels are okay. Rabbit is bad. So you agree that killing those animals is, isn't humane, you just don't care about it? No, I don't say it wasn't humane. Do you think there's a humane way to kill an animal that doesn't care about it? Yeah, the way I kill them. They, they die really quickly. Most of the time they drop the track. And they really Would it be okay to do that too? Uh, are you going to do well, it's a separate no, it's not. It's exactly. Okay. <laughs> how, how, how is the horse different than killing a human being? Well, let's just talk about, like, shooting a human, right? The same way. Why isn't it humane to, like, shoot a human that wants to live, right? They value their lives. Right. It's just like a deer values. Well, it depends on the situation, I guess. I mean, uh, it's, uh, I don't know if that's your wife, your girlfriend, your friend, or whatever, but if a human was, uh, not talking about the person, if a human was harming them, I, was, I mean, I don't, oh, I don't too. I believe in self. I don't even know her. Self defense. Yeah. But yours aren't really harming me. You know, they're just trying to. You ever got that one? I have not. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I love the videos where the deer like fucks the hunters. Yeah, I like one. Goes looking for trouble and fight. An angry buck kicks the hunter, knocking his bow out of his hands, then drives the man into the ground while his wife continues to shoot the video. He pounded me down onto the ground, and, and then he really stomped my tail, you know. It looks as if the deer is fighting on behalf of every critter ever shot by a hunter. I've seen a couple of them. But, um, no, so what's the question? Oh, is there a humane way to kill someone that doesn't want a person? Well, I consider animals persons. You just go with persons. No, I don't Be it a like fetus those. or an animal or a human. Uh, I think sometimes it's necessary. Yeah. So, but not humane. Depends on, I mean, if you're somebody's on death row, I mean, I'm not saying you should, like, impale them on a sword of spike. Yeah, there are less horrible ways to There are less horrible ways to die. Yeah, so, but, so, if I said humane, I mean, legal objection is too bad. Uh, actually, suffocation, from what I understand, you just kind of go to sleep. You're out in the uh, I can't say, you know, that'd be pretty rough. But, you know, but yeah, I mean, like, a oxygen deprivation, that'd be pretty, you know, just kind of sleep. Yeah, that's, I can actually show you some videos of gas chambers where they use uh, oxygen deprivation. You know, they're like, like, just that little bit. No, I'm scared. Well, okay. I mean, I've seen it before. Well, I'll say this, and then I'll let y'all go. I appreciate you speaking to me. Um, the meaning of the word humane means with compassion. Right. And I don't think that there is a compassionate way to kill someone. 
can say that humane means compassionate. And I don't think that there's a humane way to kill someone who is not a human. Do you think a fetus is that? Uh, it depends on if they're sentient or not. I mean, if they're sentient, then probably not. But if they're not sentient, then so uh, they don't have any. So if so we know that if he was green before months, if somebody that green is sentient, yes, yes. Is a sentient being? Are you okay with killing them? I mean, it would it would depend on if it's medically necessary. What if it's necessary in some situations? So it's like a third person's body. Can you give me an example? Um, let's say a weird ectopic pregnancy where the it's stuck in a fallopian tube and it keeps growing past three weeks and it's like I didn't say three weeks. It's just three months. Pardon me. Three months. Well, three months the ectopic pregnancy is probably. Well, I mean, I could think of some other scenarios. You know, some women have like preeclampsia, gestational diabetes. Oh, yes, preeclampsia. Like yeah, I, I could understand that. Yeah. Except for the way my daughter was born. And so, my daughter, it's odd when you say that, but my daughter was actually born the day that the legislation outlawed parts of this abortion. My daughter's pediatrician gave my daughter a cancer class here. So, my wife had a preeclampsia. Interesting, John. I appreciate you spending time with us, man. And I uh, hope you and your wife go vegan. Yeah, not going to happen. Better for animals and better for the planet. Yeah, so, not going to happen. Appreciate you being here, man. Like, uh, reasonable. Yeah, take care, John. You too. continues to shoot the video. He pounded me down on the ground and, and then he really stomped my tail. You know. It looks as if the deer is fighting on behalf of every critter ever shot by a hunter. 